looks like I've looks like I've shrunk. This camera's always kind of drooping down. It's one of those 1080 with the clips. Hello, hello, Leanne. Bright and early. So here we are, another Monday, and it's the usual thing of listing five live. With a cup of tea. I hope you've all had a good weekend. All um all one of you at the moment. Leanne, I hope you've had a good weekend. So I've got five things ready, and um, I do this every Monday just to sort of do a regular thing of getting five things on for the day. I try and do five things um, in the morning just to sort of get the ball rolling. The first five are the most difficult, I would wager, or, or the first one's the most difficult. Once you get going, you're all right. And I like to spend about an hour in. Hello, Ricky. How you doing? Whoop, whoop. Listing as we speak. Well, that's good. Game of Boys in. Joe Morris is in. And um, we'll just have a little chat first. My, um, I've been sourcing since the boot fairs have been back. I've been sourcing like crazy. Hi, Richard. And um, my my balance is out. My balance is slightly out in terms of keeping, you know, listing, selling, packing, sending off, tidying. It's all gone a bit wrong somewhere, as it does. Hi, Z. You all know about this. My balance is off. Can you help me get my Zen balance? Um, listings like 100% tidying and like um, listing is a bit kind of like off. I'm not really doing that. And I need to get my balance back. I've got great respect for those people who can you know, go and source stuff and get it listed and then it sells and it all flows through. Um, you have an alert that I'm live. Yeah. Yeah. Call the cops. Pete's on. Rod, how you doing? Good to see you. No, not dissecting fish. Oh, I have had requests for more repair videos, although it's kind of like, um, have you ever seen that? You've got to look this up. It's one of the funniest sketches I've ever seen. It's Kenny Everett and he's he's like a DIYer and he and he has a jigsaw thing and he just ends up like cutting his fingers off and he has this jigsaw um electric thing and he's holding a piece of wood and he goes through his fingers. Oh my god. Even thinking about it is hilarious. So if you fancy a laugh, go and look up Kenny Everett doing DIY on his Kenny Everett radio show. Uh hi Master of Pieces, how you doing? Um ba ba ba. Hi Nia. Hi, Hurricane Ian. Hi, Rouge. How was Hook yesterday? And have your sales picked up? Well, yeah, they have. I mean, in a weird way, they have, because I had a £200 day yesterday. But, you know, I don't like this sort of 16, 16, 0, 200. <laughs> I'd rather have, like, um, 150 every day, you know. But there you go. Clean up, son, clean up. Yeah. So I need to get a balance right. I'll tell you what it is. I mean, I because I've, I've been sourcing so much, I'm up ridiculously early. And um, it's knackering, you know, going to boot fairs all the time because you're up early. And Sunday's boot fair, I've got, a, I've got an attack attack of the vapours. Now I've got a, a real bad asthma kind of – I get asthma. But I normally manage it absolutely, like, spot on. But I'd gone out and I'd not had my hay fever tablet. I'd, um, you know, just not done a few things. And I just felt felt the presence of the asthma come on at the boot fair. I'd had about three puffs, which is well unusual for me because I, I manage it pretty well. And I got home and I thought, got to knock this on the head. So I was like, change, well, shower, change your clothes, preventers, blah, 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 pay fever tablets. And just about got it in check. But for anyone who doesn't have asthma, they won't know this. But it, when it, Basically, when you can't breathe, it knack it it can do you in. It knackers you out, and as well, getting up at five in the morning, you can be like, "Boof!" Hi, Joan. All right, let's get on with some listing anyway. So I managed to drop. I was um, I've packed up a few bits. I'm all ready to go because to the post office because I need to go down there. So I've got my bag full, and oh, the phone's going. Let me just get that because it might be Liz. Hang on a minute.
No, it's not. It's it's my mum, so I'll have to call her back. What's cracking? What's cracking? It's Peter Ray. Um, so, yeah, I still look a bit small, which I obviously am, but smaller than normal. I should put the check. Oh, that's better. Um, I've mentioned at the end of my last video, how's everyone's sales? How is everyone's sales? Everyone, let me know how your sales are. Um, I asked the question because I thought there's, in my head, there's a reason why sales are, are down, which might be blindingly obvious to a lot of you. And I asked this question and someone said, um, my sales are brilliant. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to hear. Ah, oh, Louise, crack a few days for me sales. Yeah, um, I was gonna, I was gonna like stretch this out to a whole like ten minute video, which I probably will do. But my theory is, in a nutshell, nobody's been allowed to go on holiday in June or July. Now, normally you get the holiday period is July through to August, and sales always go a bit because people are away or people are planning on going away. You don't want an eBay parcel before three days before you go on holiday. So there might be like a three-week period if you take the two weeks and a few days either side where nothing's going on. Now, what's happened this year is no one's been allowed to go in July because of lockdown or, you know, hasn't been a lot going on. So all of that holiday, you know, um, holiday stuff, I'm searching for words this morning, is um, focused in August. So that's that's my excuse. That's why sales have gone. So there we go. And and that's why I'm not worrying about it. I just kind of think, well, everyone's away at the moment or everyone's planning on going away or just got back. They're not going to be looking at eBay. And when they get back, sort of like, you know, end of August, ready to go back to school, sales will pick up. So I'm just do, trying to do everything I would normally do to, um, you know, be ready for when people get back. So I would say bad sales, Z bad sales it's not down to you it's not your fault it's just that everyone's gone on holiday in august or a lot of people have all those rc nutters all those people who want fugglers all those people who want your vinyl figures they'll be back at the end of the month trust me um talking about it that's been my big sale i had a 200 pound day yesterday 130 quid of it was on that rc car that i bought uh, for 20 quid, which you were kind of um, saying, all oh, that looks good. So, yeah, it sold for 130. I mean, this is it. If I hadn't have sold that, it, it would have been absolutely nothing. Um, so, yeah, sales have been poo. So, I'm going to say, I will stretch it out to a whole long video, I think. And I've had a bit of stick on one of my videos, which was interesting. And, and probably I didn't explain the situation that well. So that's a lesson learned for me. I've made it big. I'm getting people having a go at me. I'm giving me nasty comments. <laughs> so there you go. That was quite funny. Yeah, I haven't done much listing. So, you know, I've been sourcing so much and just like piling it in and um, not done a lot of listing, but not too worried, really. Yeah. I think I will as well, Louise, go for the second employment grant. I just saw that it it had it had gone out. It's weird thinking, has it affected me? Should I be you know applying for it? But um in terms of sourcing opportunities, it's definitely it's really difficult to gauge when, especially if you're a grown business, because you know, um I'm I'm certainly doing better than I was this time last year, but in terms of my opportunities to to have been even better, um, it's um, it's affected that. Um, so there you go, and you kind of think, well, loads of other people. Hi, Tommy, how you doing? Got to catch up on. Yeah, saw you were on this morning. I will catch up. I've got loads of things. I've got half of um, Kelly's. I uh, just got in at the end. Jack's had an amazing weekend. Well, that's good. I deleted my store and sales went up. Perhaps if we all delete our stores. Well, it's good to see everyone. Um, I'll leave you all to talk amongst yourselves whilst I'll get on some work. Let's get some listing done. So the first one I'm doing was, is this. Box is a bit shonky, but um, 
they sell well. I, I had a quick look when I bought it because I think I paid quite a bit of money for it. Tommy needs to talk about OBS. Not just not just BS, it's oh BS. It's it's about the content of Z's channel. The uh, overly BS. It's busy till 2022. Okay, well let's get on with this. I've got the kids. Kids are busy doing some um, stop go animation. We've just bought them a like spent a whole five pounds on an app, and they're um, they're engrossed in that. And Lizzie's gone shopping, so she might turn up. So there's not, not going to be any snacks brought to me today. So there you go. The rules are so vague. Yeah, impacted on the reselling business. Yeah, it obviously affects everyone. I think affects everyone. And um, the weird thing was, I was I was kind of thinking not to applying for the first one, thinking, oh, you know, is it the right thing to do? Da 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 da. And then I kind of thought, well, I could have earned more, and I do, you know, I do need money. <laughs> you know, if I don't, if I'm not doing it, there's like loads of other people who are, and you know, you kind of. I don't know if cutting off your nose to spite your face, but you know, you kind of. Well, I, I did the first one. I was amazed at how easy it was. That was fantastic. So this is T2. Let me explain what this is. And I may well have done this. So the box is beat up. But it's a T2 it's army. And you go on YouTube and you look this up and, you know, people love them. They glue them together and they take huge pride. Let me get a bit of this out. And put them together. It's all very bright in here because the sun's coming through. I could pull the blind down. I, I might pull the blind down, actually, seeing as the sun's just come out and it's going to melt the monitor. There we go. It's a little bit better, isn't it? There we go. So he has got all his arms and legs. Otherwise, I'd have to sell him as battle damage. It's got this weird little bit. With... Um, a kind of belt on it of course it won't focus but it's like a little knobbly knob a little thimble with a bit of belt on which doesn't seem to be part of the model but i have seen on others listed that the the little knobbly knob with the, uh, the belt is on there so there you go uh was hook worth going to yeah it was worth going to yeah i'd say so I mean, it's only down the road for me, and um, I've got to go through what I've got, actually. I didn't do a haul yesterday, because, like I say, I was just sort of um, recuperating. Right, let's get him on. So I can't remember how much I paid. I think it might have been about eight quid. He's from a, a trader guy who sorts you, sorts you out with good stuff. And I was like, oh, is this too much? um but when i got home and checked it i mean a lot of these trader guys you're buying stuff for about a tenner and it might sell for 30 40. um so there you go yeah sorry if i do um miss replies i'm i'm notoriously bad for it anyway i'm notoriously bad for ignoring the chat it's not deliberate on anyone um if they have made a comment um it's just down to me and my um missing it yeah that's very good advice uh louise if you hit the criteria yeah you've got to think you know let's have a look at it in cold black and white you know is this designed for me if if yes go to claim Okay, now I can't find it, so let's have a look. Da, 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 Terminator 2. I found it the other day. Here we go. Um, so someone sold one on bids for 24. I'm sure you can get more than that. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, someone sold one brand new. Brand new. It doesn't look brand new for 50. Yeah, so I was thinking 40 in my head. There's one on bids. So let's filter off the bids. Let's have a look at buy it now. 
don't be sorry about being crap. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I'd be more concerned if I came on here and said I knew everything. And do you want to be a reseller? Do you want three easy steps to make thousands and ten thousands and hundred thousands of pounds? Stay here, click the link, go to my Patreon, give me some money, and I'll tell you the secrets of reselling. Come on, you know. Anyone who can tell you what it's all about is in it for the Wonga. That's my view. So yeah, it's um, I know what I know what my balance is that I'd like, and I know when I'm off. I know when I've gone off track, and the important thing is knowing what to do to get back on. That's kind of what I, you're sold. Yeah, <laughs> show me the money. I kind of, I was getting wound up, oh, yeah, I'm easily wound up, but I was getting wound up the other day by just looking at those kind of like, here's how to do it channels. I don't like those, here's how to, how to do it. I don't mind a here's how I do it. as a subtle difference. There's a subtle, subtle difference. But I did think, Christ, what if I ended up like that and I didn't even notice? Be, you know, look at my because you do find yourself like doing stuff you wish you hadn't done, like, um, well, like the you like the YouTube, for example. You know, you kind of start off going, I'm just going to do it just as a record and do it, and then you kind of get in this, oh, I've got a thousand subs, and then you start thinking, those videos seem to get more views, and those ones, which I thought were quite nice, like filming a pond or. Me counting puzzle pieces, you know, quality quality stuff. They seem to only get three views. Whereas, if I do a video saying haul twenty pound to twenty grand, that will get two thousand views. And you kind of think, who's watching? Yeah, you know, obviously people are going. What's he got? What's what's the secret? Preach it, yeah. Got to keep got to keep true to yourself, haven't you? Okay, I'm going to go for 40 quid on this. That'll do me. I'm not going to sell it as new like this other guy has. It's a tricky balance. It's all about balance today. My balance of my work that I'm doing is too much sourcing at the moment, not enough listing, not enough tidying, not enough, not, I haven't got enough boxes. So I'm just trying to focus in on what needs the attention. I'll tell you what I will mind doing now um, is a video on uh, time management and, and better time management. And I know Mrs. M, Caroline, Mrs. M, did a really good series a long time ago. So I'll probably watch her and nick a load of her ideas. But she was, like, really good about that. So, yeah, that might be a not here's what I do, it's here's what I should do video. Okay, used, used, um, unpainted, what do I want to say, it's unused model, unpainted and unused parts, um, box opened and has some wear. No instructions. How about sums it up? Yeah, I mean, I like our chunks. I'll tell you what I do. is My, my main floor, and I, I, if this has been pointed out to me, uh, I won't say who pointed it out, but it's blooming obvious. I will tend to just leave stuff and not look back. And the reason I do this is because I don't set times to finish and then um, kind of just um tidy up or you know just just finish off things so i mean i normally have dinner around about sort of half seven and i'll be working away listing or you know just getting doing youtube rubbish looking at youtube or you know just trying to look at 
look up stuff or and it will go right up to the half seven. I don't I don't kind of say I'm going to work till half five and then I'm going to give myself a couple of hours or half six, give myself an hour. Hi, Lainey, uh, to just tie off the loose edges and, and put the day to bed. That's what I need to do. I need to put the day to bed and I need to factor in some time to just so when I can wake up in the morning, I don't go in my spare room and the table is covered in stuff I've listed and shifted off to half of the table it needs needs to go in there and be finished off so yeah 17 hour listed marathons well you won't get that here no chance yeah what are you doing i'm watching a video about someone doing the video Maybe list 15 instead of five. Well, we know I only do five in the first hour, Tommy. This is the secret, you know. So, you know, an hour, do five, cup of tea, come back an hour. I might do 10 because I don't have people distracting me saying things like list 15 instead of five, you know. When you're not distracting me, Tommy, stuff gets listed. It is true. But, yeah, that time to put the day to bed. I like that phrase. I don't think it's impossible when it works in your home. Yeah, important to turn off. Very, very difficult, very true. I think Liz has just returned. Let me just see on the tracker. Is she in the house? Is there a chance of a biscuit being provided later? I doubt it. Yeah, she's here. Got a tracking device we do it we do it for all the family it's just not me on her hang on a minute Lee. yeah just imagine if you were totally seeing richard's comment there work till 11 and you know we all do it and we all see other people do it just imagine if you had that beautiful balances of like, oh, I've been to the boot fair um, or I've been to three boot fairs this week. I've managed to source, um, you know, 70 things. I'm going to list 10 a day and then I'm going to pack everything that's sold and three, three times a week or two or three times a week I need to go to the post office. And you do that. And it's all done for the week and it's all like everything you're listing selling and you know there's that it's like a well-oiled machine just imagine that rather than oh i've come back from boot fair i'm gonna dump all my stuff uh, i've done enough boot fair i can dump all my stuff i've done enough boot fair i can dump all my stuff oh christ what's this big pile of dump stuff ankle tags yeah exactly and we have um We brand them as well. So just in case they wander off and get lost, we know where they are. I've been watching the Yorkshire Farm recently. That's been good. Talking about sheep and things they do. Love that if anyone watches that. Oh, I've just gone into photos. I'm taking the photos of this yet. Okay, unpa uh, unpainted and unused parts. There's You don't need instructions, but it does have instructions. But um, there's... Two, there's four parts uh, the body, the legs, and two arms. So, if someone gets that wrong, you know, Christ. Um, character family Terminator 2. I don't think anyone noticed the um, the thumbnail, that was my, my T800 impression. And this is a cell simmer I'm doing. Sticking my custom label. I always put the date. I should put the shelf, the skew, my skew, my stock keeping unit, but um, sometimes I don't. Yeah, it's 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 hard. I, I, it's because I've been focused on reselling, and um, I've been focused on reselling. That's handy, isn't it? Um, 
I am focused on sourcing because of what happened during lockdown. I thought I don't want to be scraping the bottom of the barrel again, so I'm really like going nuts on it. And other things are being affected. Um, Masterpieces works a full time job. Uh, yeah, how how people do that is um, I find that incredible that people can work a job. Um, and but maybe you've got more structure, you know. Maybe the fact that you work a job, you kind of like, well, I do my nine to five, and then it has to be there. Whereas if you're a full timer, it's like, oh, you know, I could list or I could do it later on. I could do it at eleven p.m. I could do it at three in the morning. I'll tell you what, Bind Space, you always say that comment. My thumb is blue. How about you? And I've absolutely no idea what you're talking about. So an explanation. We want an explanation on the blue thumb thing. I don't know what that's about. Hello, Lark Trading. How you doing? If I've missed anyone off, let me know. <laughs> Tom, yeah, it doesn't surprise me that you've got an unfound stock, Tom. You've probably got the Ark of the Covenant in your stories. You know, it's like Indiana Jones. You got it on eBay for 99p on bids. Ark of the Covenant. Okay, that's um, 39.99, small parcel. Do I put best offers on? Go on then. Draft it. Okay. I was... Um, oh, my God, this is heavy. I was um, testing the tease mate that I broke this morning because I broke... Is it a misheard Bowie quote? I don't know. What, what would be the misquote? What would be the correct quote? Oh, oh, I know. Uh, planet Earth is blue. Yeah, maybe. I've got, I was thinking it, it, it's space oddity, isn't it? My thumb is blue. It's because the thumbs up button is blue, I think. Oh, is it? You know, it's amazing. The amount of stuff that goes over my head and I haven't got a clue about is incredible. Right. Yeah, I was testing a tease made this morning. That I managed to break the pot a while ago because I was carrying loads of stuff up to do like show and tell, and the pot slipped out and broke. And I was like, oh, it was a swan one, it was a nice one, it was a STM 100. And uh, oh, right, okay, yeah, I see, all is explained. I thought it was some cryptic message. I normally just say up the thumb, which is a little bit more crude, but there we go. Um, yeah, so anyway, I broke I broke this pot and I thought, well, I'll test the rest of the thing because, like, if I want to buy another pot, it's about 12 quid on eBay unless I write off to Swan Teas Made people and say, um, we recently received the Swan Teas Made as a wedding gift. But unfortunately, the crock pot was broken. Um, any chance you can send me one free? Uh, I don't know if I really can be bothered to do that, but I might do. Um, or, or buy one at a very cheap price. Anyway, if I want to buy one on eBay, it's 12 quid, um, which I'll probably end up doing. So it's like, do I do I spend the 12 quid? So I thought, well, I'll check whether it's working. And for a moment there, <laughs> it was weird. I kind of thought it wasn't working. I wasn't pressing the safety button. Um, but unfortunately it was so I'll probably have to go and spend 12 quid get a new pot and then list it and I think they sell for about 40 um, so and I originally bought it for either 3 or 7 I think it might have been 7 anyway I've got another thing out the uh, to list to do to do a bit of a show and tell which was well it was the T800 a couple of pairs of shoes and these things yeah, I know. I was. I remember you. You looked one for me before, Louise. So I will let you know, um, and I'll give you the. Um, I'll give you the measurements. That'd be handy, actually. Um, but it's a round one. Uh, yeah. Anyway, and, and I managed to drop one of these in the mud. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's got. <laughs> it's just like slipped off. It was like, oh, it's going, it's going. As I'm trying to get through the gate at the bottom of the garden, and then it went and got a load of mud and moss all over it. I was like, oh, Jesus, it's a bloody swan swan pot. I don't carry too much. Um, anyway, it has it's, it has marked it a little bit. It's raining outside. It's quite nice, like a bit of rain. 
Um, so, yeah, I still haven't learned my lesson. But let's get those. I think I'll get about 40 quid for those. Oh, well, thanks, Krillin. Um, hi, Tommy, can you let Krillin know that I also say hi? Um, and thanks for the uh, $1.99. That's very nice. I'll um, go and buy a... What can I buy with $1.99? It'll be food. It'll be some nice English chocolate that you can't get in the States. Like a dairy milk or something. In America, chats, I say, don't be a bum, hit the thumb. I have seen that. I've seen that, actually. But in UK, <laughs> chats, you've been kicked out. No, bum's not fun offensive. Bum, bum is just like, I don't know, ass or something, I guess, in America. You know, if we want something kind of if, a rude word you say in front of the kids, kids might, but we say bum cock piddle. Well, you know, if, if we want to say something silly that is has an edge for like 10 year olds, we don't we don't drop an F bomb or a C bomb. What's that? Bum cock piddle. Bum cock piddle. I noticed on one of my videos and it got done like the ads got done for um oh you got yellowed at you know certain suit suitability it was one of my list five live and i was like oh, i don't remember you know there's been huge amounts of pornography or swear words in there or anything religiously controversial i think i was just listing some polaroid cameras anyway oh you can buy i remember when i went to australia and um I got there and I bought I bought a Mars bar and the chocolate wasn't the same. I was like, someone's added dust to the chocolate mix. What's gone on? But you see, it's amazing how soon you get used to it because I was there for a year. And I was smoked at the time of the cigarettes. I was like, that's some Peter Jackson. And I was like, because I remember that I was smoking Marlboro Lights at the time and the Marlboro Lights um, cost an absolute fortune in Australia. So I've got the cheap, you've got some Peter Jackson super mild or whatever. And um, I was like, mm. but there you go. And when you when you met people from the UK who just come over and they I've obviously had like four hundred Marlboro light, Marlboro yeah Marlboro lights. You're like, please give me a Marlboro light. But there you go. Right, walking dead compendiums. Yeah, I've seen a few of those. Um, American eats English chocolate videos, or you know, I saw one a Korean, Korean and a Korean girl and her grandma were eating British. Um, it was either crisps or, or confectionery, and that was quite <laughs> quite bizarre. And you get things like they they try marmite out, and they're like, oh my god! Right, walking dead compendiums. I've been doing a lot of chatting today. I feel like a chat though. Since uh, since I got some stick on my one of my last videos, I thought, oh yeah, I need a bit of love. So yeah, Hershey bar. I, I think I've mentioned this before. I had a Hershey kiss when I was at uh, um, like twenty years ago. I was like, oh Hershey kiss. It's, it's supposed to be really famous American chocolate. It's supposed to be nice. Have this little Hershey kiss. I was like, who's been sick in the chocolate mix? What? <laughs> What is going on? Yeah, marble light. Yeah, I just smoke marble red. I won't talk about that. Jesus. Right. I reckon this has got to be 40 quid at least. I picked them up for a pound each. I mean, the fact that it's got a little bit of grass stainage on it, we won't worry about that. Uh, yeah, volume two has gone for 20. And volume four has gone for 35. And one and two has gone for 39.99. I'll tell you what, they're heavy, though. That's no way going to be small parcel, even though it's small parcel size. Well, compendium four seems to be a lot of money. Brand new, someone's selling it brand new. 40 quid. <laughs> M 
most difficult thing I've ever given up. It took me ages. And it's always the last one. The last one's most difficult. Kieran. Oh, Rum Oh, look at that. There you are. I missed you off. You're right in the middle of my screen. How are you doing, Kieran? You, you're not at work today? I'm still waiting for the video of you on the Combine Harvester. Or is it not harvesting season? It's harvesting season, isn't it? Um, what else do you say about the Walking Dead Compendium 1 and 2? Image. And the people who produced it. Anything else to say? Big grass-stained book. New York Times bestseller. Is that going to fit in? New York Times bestseller. There we go. 11 characters left. Do you like root beer? I don't know if I've ever had root beer. I like ginger beer. Ginger beer and lime and ice. Very nice. All right, that's the media. Um, very good condition with a little mud, I mean, a little wear. Add the photos later. How are we doing for time? 36 minutes. Yeah, when I finish this, I've got to go down the post office and do all that. Malarkey. Um, I'm putting in custom bundle. I don't normally do this. Is that a bag of onions? Yeah. Doesn't everybody have a bag of onions? It's um, onions and to ward off um, Andrew Nolan and garlic to ward off vampires. Because the one thing you don't want when you're trying to do some reselling is Andrew Nolan in your office. No, it's, um, it's an Ikea storage net. And um, it's full of small plushies that I'd like to get rid of. Uh, that have been on eBay for probably about three or four years. So I should just burn the lot, really. But occasionally one sells. And it's the sort of stuff I've picked up for 50p and might sell for about a tenner. But I've got a shelf of like bigger plushies. Oh, yeah, plushies. Plushies get on my nerves. Oh, it's like dandelion bird. Yeah, dandelion burdock. Isn't that great? That is like, although, I mean, I think I've had it once. And I can't, I, I don't, I'm like when I was young and I remember it not being nice. So maybe I should try it again. It's like, I don't think I've ever had iron brew or I might have tried that once. But I just, I've got in my head that it's disgusting. Oh. Do you know what? I've put very good condition with a little mud. I've actually typed it. That is suggestion for you. I was watching Dar Darren Brown this morning. And I've, I've been done by my own like subconscious suggestion there. Just imagine if that had stayed in very good condition with a little mud. Good job I spotted it. Uh, $39.99 with a medium parcel, which will be £6.49 postage, I think. Saves draft. Oh, there's a Simpsons episode. I don't think I've seen that, which I've seen almost every other Simpsons episode. McDonald's used to sell root beer. That rings a bell. I, I would never have got it. Um, root beer tastes like death. What, what is that stuff that... It, it kind of reminds me of the dentist mouthwash. There's a drink that does that. I can't remember what it was, though. Tizer reminds me of the 70s. Does anybody drink Tizer anymore? Right, that's that. Oh, I want to get this one on. 
because it's like cricket season, cricket helmet for Americans, you know. So it, this it's a Slazenger, looks like a nice helmet. Maybe that's why I shouldn't say things. Helmet double entendres. Um, so yeah, this looks in really good condition. There's no clip on the. There's no clip on the strap. I just. Must be like you used to, yeah, dandelion, but I'm, perhaps I should get some. It's like a real dark purple tin, isn't it? We kind of like dark yellow logo, I think. This is a kid's helmet. There's no way it's going to... Jesus. Ah. Oh, God. Oh. I shouldn't have done that. And I knew I shouldn't have done it. Right, okay. Let's have a look at this Slazenger cricket helmet. I think I paid £2 for it. I'm kind of looking at it going, oh, God, brilliant. My nose there. Um, that, I, that should be worth a lot of money. But I've kind of got the feeling that I bet it isn't. Let's see. Hello, Gimbal. Ties is great. So I'm just, I am think I've already said hello to Gimbal. I don't even know if they still do ties. No idea. See on bids, junior international cricket helmet, £6.50. Youth cricket helmet, one bid, £2.85. Um, there's one in a box that went for ten pound fifty. You, you know, it's um, one went for. These are all on bids, so they really do not sell for a, a lot. There's one for eighteen ninety nine, pre-owned, which looks exactly the same. Where's the grill size? The 57, 57 to 60. So this is this approximate size guide. Senior, 57 to 60 centimetres. Junior, 54 to 57. So what size is this? I have no idea what they're going on about there, but it looks like um, this is the same one. It says it's a helmet and a kookaburra ab guard. What the hell's a kookaburra ab guard? I mean, that's a that's a face guard. Well, I don't know whether you can play cricket at the moment, but I mean, it is kind of like I, I think the start of the season is well gone, isn't it? So people are into it. It's not cooker or abguard. The helmet is in excellent condition. Minimal signs of wear, no damage. The only minor points is missing the front left fastening nut. There's a fastening nut? Oh, yeah, these. Okay. There it is. So this guy is selling the helmet and the abguard, but he doesn't seem to have put a... Oh, there we go. Oh, well, he's got exactly the same one as me. Oh, God, does it... <clears throat> don't they wear those on a horse polo? I don't know. I'm not... A... Never heard of helmets. Yeah, hel uh, motorcycle helmets are dodgy. But I think, you know, cricket helmets, I mean, it looks... It doesn't... If, if this had looked like it had had a knock, I wouldn't sell it. But um, I think I'm all right. What is this guy going on about who I'm about to do a sell similar on? Kookaburra Abgard. I'm thinking abdomen. It's got to be abdomen he's going on about. Internet's gone slow. Site cannot be reached. Run diagnostics. My laptop keeps doing this. Oh, 
Oh, he's like a chess guard. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll do a cell similar. I'll knock off the ab guard. Hello, Paralogical. How are you doing? We're listing away, working away. Um, that's a very good condition at the end. I've got a horrible feeling this might just hang around for ages because I'm going to try and sell it at a bigger price than other people are selling theirs at. But yeah, not a lot of money in them. Um, mm -mm. I should find out how much they are new, to be honest. I'll do that off stream. Uh, Forty ninety nine. Oh, I'm going to put the postage at light because it will be a Hermes, but it will be a light Hermes. Now, I know under under a kilogram is two ninety, I think. Um, so I'm going to put four ninety nine just in case it just goes over a kilo. I don't think it will, but it might do. There we go. Save that as draft. <laughs> Get it on before winter. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, yeah, you're right. I saw it in there and I thought that, that can't hang around. Otherwise, it'd be uh, this time next year. I've got loads of TDK cassettes. New. And they've not, not sold. They're not metal or anything. I've had them for ages. You, you'd think that a lot would sell, wouldn't you? But they haven't really. And um, I think I've got them on fairly cheap. They're, there's a mainly 90s. There's a few 60s in there. Um, yeah. So I'll probably have to, like, zoos up the listing. Um, but, yeah, I've got loads of media like that, and um, I've got loads of VHS compact tapes. Yeah, they are bundled. Um, and, yeah, I want to sell them individually. But, um, I did sell some VHS compact, and it went to the States, actually. So the guy was uh, C-15s. Well, 15 minute tapes? I don't think so. A C15 is worth a lot more. That's the sort of thing you use to skip for computers. Boot C15. Um, no, loads of VHC. Um, and I, I don't mind. I don't mind it hanging around for a while actually because it's that's really small. You can store it compactly. Um, but yeah. Right on to the next one. How many have we done? Three. Cheeky little Roberts radio. Looks like it hasn't been used. And I've got two of these off the same bloke. I think he wanted a fiver each from memory. So I haven't tested it yet, but I will plug it in and see um, if it's all right. Did I pay a fiver? It might be a little bit too much money, really, because I doubt it's going to go for more than a tenner, but we shall see. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, about 10, 12. Let's have a look at souls. I bought a snap-on toolbox on um, Saturday, and that cost me 85 quid. And um, someone commented, oh, not too sure whether it's a real one. And I was kind of like, oh, it might not be. Then I kind of checked it and I thought it was. And now I'm having doubts again. I'm looking around for this number. So the toolbox is kind of, you know, so big. It's not, it's not the huge ones. Um, but I can't find the model number on the back. 
back back i'm wondering whether it might be underneath but it does have a snap-on like plate on it so um yeah slightly worried about it. i think i'll still be able to sell it as a toolbox but i can't remember who who was commenting on my video but thanks to whoever it was um i'll look it up but if you buy stuff like that do look on the on the box somewhere it should say snap on um tools and then have a code i think so i don't know enough about it really okay what we're we looking at uh yeah 10 pound plus postage and i have got the instructions someone's selling one refurbished i mean really 10 pound postage they're all ten pound postage. A sixteen pound free post. Well, I'm going to do ten pound postage. Yeah, it is. The reason I bought it, Chris, was. Um, I have been all yeah, parallels got been all over looking at trying to find one similar. Um the reason I bought it, I always get drawn off into different conversations. Um was because I've seen two before at boot fairs and I've said, How much is that? And they always say about a hundred. Um I've gone right, hundred pounds thinking about it, yeah, and I don't know anything about it. It's nothing it's nothing going on in it. It's like you know, tumbleweed. I'm just thinking 100 snap on toolbox don't know and by the time i thought about it it's gone someone else support it so this one he's you know i went over there he said 100 i said we'll take 80 he went oh, we'll take 85 i was like yeah i love it and now it should be is it genuine snap on where's the code da, 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 da. Um, but I need to find out more about it, whether they all have those codes or whether it's the larger ones or where the code is, whether it's it, on some, it's on the bottom, because it looks like totally genuine. Uh, it does really look. Oh, well, Paul, I'm glad it's been reactivated and it's a lesson to everyone. You know, make sure that your account isn't hijacked. How did it get hijacked? Did you have some sort of virus or malware get into your machine um yeah oh gimbal is similar to one you have it, it's the code on the back and you know as as you look at it you get a box it's a light there we go that's better if that was the toolbox and it opened up like that and they all kind of raise up is is the code i thought it was kind of on the back bottom but I did look at one on eBay, and or it was Pinterest or something, and it it looked like their code wasn't on the on the back. Um, and I'm wondering because I've lifted it up because it's like heavy as anything. I'm wondering whether it might be on the bottom. Got no idea. Right, nine ninety nine for this. Nice easy one. So five pound to ten pound, you know, not brilliant, but you know, not every, not everything you list is mega. But the important thing is just to get it out the way, get it sold. Hi, Damien. Yeah, you got the last six minutes. I've done four items. So I better get a move on. Why is that coming up with character family? 101 Dalmatians. What am I in? Oh no, I'm in alarm clocks. This is eBay suggesting things that are just totally off the wall. See you later, Paralogical. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments on my videos. It's very um, welcome. I'm very grateful for them.
do 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 do. Similar used from twelve pound seventy. Really? Nine ninety nine. No offers on that. I'll move it from the wall when in, in garage this afternoon. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have a good look around mine. Um, oh, God, yeah. I'll tell you what. Empty, it weighs a ton. Full of stuff. Jesus Christ. That will be crazy. Um, right, I've got two items left here because I did bring six up because I thought I might whiz through, but I should have known better. But let's do the, the Glockenspiel. The AX25N. Why is that sounding rattly? I don't like that. But when I open it, it doesn't. This is a lovely little thing. I love it. I love the musical instruments. Not like I can play any. Or play any well. Glockenspiel. Um, I picked this up about a week, about a couple of weeks ago, I think. Yeah, Neil, I know you had a, a suspension as well. I, I know you said before it was on um, counterfeit stuff, but... Um, Um, what actually was it, Neil? Was it clothes? I, I was wondering. Yeah, Chris, I, yeah, I've been looking around for this K number. And um, there were some numbers on the back, but they looked like they had been... They, they weren't like the K numbers. Because um, at first I saw these numbers and I thought, brilliant, I've got, I've got a, like a code on there, but it looks like something that someone else might have put on. Um, and then I was doing a Google image search on th that box, and someone showed a, a close-up of the code, but it didn't look like the photo had come from the back. You know, they, typically, they take in like a, a bunch of photos which didn't really point out where exactly they come from. So, yeah, unbranded Chinese earphones. Yeah. yeah. It's always, you know, I suppose any reseller has that worry that, that that can happen and it could happen. I've heard of people selling um, – it was um, one of the Instagram sellers I know and they were selling red sole. There's a kind of shoe called red sole and she was selling some – I think it's called Red Soul or something like that. And she was selling a shoe that had a red soul. And because she used the words red soul, um, the company picked her up on a Vero. And it was like the second or third time it happened. And each time it wasn't justified because, like, these shoes, she was just describing the shoe and she got suspension through it. And there's nothing she could do about it. So yeah, it's it's gutting. Um, right, Glockenspiel. You have to be very, very. I mean, you can only. You say yeah. You look out for things, and you know, and be aware. But there's some things you just might not be aware of. So. Well, it's pretty tricky because there's not a lot of stuff like it. Someone saw one new from the States, 27. I mean, I don't know. I think 20, 20, 20 is sort of, I'm going to 20. Someone saw one on bid for 13. And you can get them for new for 27. Yeah, that's if you live in America. Twenty. 
yeah i do feel for anyone who um who's been affected because it is your you, you you know my ebay went down it would have um, a, a big impact and of course that's why everyone says try and find different streams but it's sometimes that's not easy is it i mean just doing ebay is um takes up a lot of your time and being good at that is hard right excellent condition includes beaters Be are they called beaters i think they're called beaters Twenty, just I don't know, maybe twenty-two. I mean, there's one available in the states, new for twenty-seven, but we don't live in the states, so anyone here couldn't get it anyway. So let's go for twenty-two ninety-nine. And is that a small parcel? I'll have to check that. I think it is. I think, it's, I think it's around about, like, you know, 1,600 grams. I think so. Right, well, I'm going to save that. I'm going to have a little look at the chat. I've gone over an hour, but, you know, I'm not ruled by time. Let's have a look at what everyone's got to say. Right, Peter Ray has sold a Durham Bulls baseball cap for £14. Well done, Pete. That's good to get out. I remember I had a couple of American baseball caps. I picked up the one of the first ones I picked up. Couldn't sell it for toffee. Yeah, I, Neil, I bet you feel like you're walking a tightrope. Um, and, you know, what do you do? You, you, do you just sort of like think, OK, well, I'm going to have to just play it ultra safe now and you know list don't know uh, monopolies and polaroid cameras derek got a three-day yeah he did derek that that's a vero the elf on the shelf i mean elf on the shelf you know you've got to be i wish there was a central source for Vero stuff, or you know, I think um, Ugg boots are another one you shouldn't sell. You know, obvious things like things with any kind of inflammatory um, references. But um, I know there is a Vero list, but I don't know. You know, I just obviously eBay pick it up because they scan through listings, but. I wish I picked it up before you listed it because, it, you know, why Why not do that? Why not? Even if you listed it and it, it went off and did a check for six hours and then came back and said, this this looks a bit dodge. Um, that would be better than letting you list it and then striking you down because, you know, Neil's not trying to pull the wall over eBay's eyes. If, if, if he'd have listed that, you know, and, and put it in kind of quarantine and, and then eBay came back, you know, a day later and said, this listing, you know, it's not right. You take it down. Yeah, you know, nobody nobody wants to risk their account, obviously. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you all have a great day. Um, I'm going to try and get a little bit more into balance and focus and just get things, get the engine a bit more oiled and smooth um z if you're uh on your market stall i hope you're having i hope you have a great time john's just turned up he's way too late he's obviously just turned up to drop me under a pound super chat it's very kind of you john but don't do it i'm about to go don't worry about it i'll let you off have a great week everyone um i hope you get some great sales um old john um football i mean what can i say who was it lee was it leon i mean what is going on and have you seen the um 
Jamie Carragher and uh, I forget who else. I think it was Mika Richards reaction 99 yeah typical reseller I'm a penny less the, their reaction to the Sterling miss oh my god unbelievable like Jamie Carragher just like he, he goes so high pitched only dogs can hear him but he, Sterling was like that when he was at Liverpool he, he got all the tricks in the book but he could never finish and I thought he was doing a bit better this season but like the one time you want him to I mean, I could have scored that, even like it could have gone in off my backside. And he leans back. But there you go. Yeah, everyone's out. Who do I, who do I want to win it? Le is a Leipzig still in it or something ridiculous? It's, I mean, I think Munich have got it in the bag because, I mean, that's, that is nuts. Charlotte, that's fine. Um, we're, all, we're all about to finish because everyone's got to actually go and do some work. Got to laugh, yeah, indeed. Got to laugh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, thanks all for joining me. Um, yeah, have a great day. Have a great weekend. I'll let you go because I'm just rambling. So take care. See you soon. I'll probably do a video sometime in a couple of days, but I have no idea what it's about. But, yeah, have a great day. See you later.